<clears throat> We're now being joined by the head coach of NC Central, Lavelle Moten, as well as uh, student athletes Larry McKnight and Rashawn Davis. Uh, Lavelle, if you'd like, you may start with an opening statement. Um, obviously, it didn't end the way we wanted it to. Extremely proud of our guys. Thought we got into some adverse situations, and we showed our toughness. We fought and we fought and we fought some more. Unfortunately, with two minutes left, we just didn't make the plays that were required, you know, to win a basketball game of this magnitude. And that has nothing to do with them. It's everything to do with me. And uh, I told them that, but hats off to North Dakota State. Um, they played, they made significant plays at significant times. And um, we just came up short. Questions for Larry and Rashawn only. Here on the right, the left. Yes, Dan Murphy, ESPN. What do you take away from the, the, the final stretch there, making that last run? Um, and how do you kind of reflect back on the season now that it's over? Uh, Larry, can you take that first, please? Um, I would have to say um, that final stretch, it, was, um, it came down to the wire. Our margin error is supposed to be, supposed to be limited, and we made a couple of errors at the end that put us, in the, put us in the back end. But reflect on the season, I mean, it was a good, really good season. We've, we've, been, we've been talked about all season. Um, people doubted us. We, we stuck together. We got everything we accomplished. And um, I think it was a great season. Sean? Uh, I just want to start out by saying, like, I enjoyed this year. Um, I'll never forget my brothers. And um, um, I really can't say too much right now, but it's been a wonderful year. Your left. For, for Larry, we make the three. You guys go up 66-61. Um, how did you, how'd you feel at the moment that things were going to you guys' favor? Did you feel like you had them right where you wanted them? Um, yeah, I thought we did. Um, I thought we had the game, to be honest. Um, when, I, when those threes were coming in, or going in, um, everything felt good. I felt like we had them. We were right where we needed to be, but it just came up short at the end. Turn left again. The, the foul call there at the end that, uh, on the defensive end, they called it on you there. Were you, did, you, did they say anything to you? Did you ask them what did he see, the referee, uh, after he blew the whistle? Um, he didn't really um, say anything to me. Did you feel like you touched him overhead and he the whistle? Um, I think I was in the right position at the right time. It was just he made the right call, I guess. Any further questions? All right, Larry and Rashawn, thank you for your time. Thank Looking, you. Uh, congratulations on your season. I will open the floor for uh, questions for Coach Moten at this point. Turn left. Coach, um, when I when I asked Larry about the call there, I saw you, you shake your head a little bit. Did the ref say anything to you? Did you ask him what he saw on that on that play? Nah, we don't we don't get explanations, man. Um, You want me to be completely honest with you? I tell our team every game we're, we're down ten, um, especially in games of these this magnitude. It doesn't seem as if um, we're accustomed to getting a whistle or anything. So we just play through it. Our practices. I don't even call fouls in practice for this reason whatsoever. I would like for the game to be decided. Um, by the players, and we don't have to ask questions, you know, concerning referees, but, you know, they're human too. And, um, you know, even though we didn't uh, agree with it, you know, such is life. We've been here before so many times, man, like it's – these kids fight their heart out. You just want them to decide the game. That's that's pretty much it. Here at the end. This one seems like to you it's things a little bit more than the previous two. 
Is, is it because in that last few minutes you guys seem to have, have your foot on the pedal and we're in control? All of them hurt. I just hurt for the kids, man. Like, y'all see the basketball, but, you know, it's 22 hours of life that we're responsible for as coaches. And these two kids, man, along with the rest of my seniors, they're incredible kids. And they become your children. And you love them. And just like anything for your kids, you don't want to see them hurting. And just the mere fact that it's their last game, and I had an opportunity to help them through that, and I don't know if I did my very best, and they're questioning if they did their very best. You just don't want them to hurt. And these kids are incredible students. They're going to graduate. They come to my house. They steal my kids' fruit snacks, and just incre they're part of our family, man. And for it to be over with, it hurts, it stings. And that's a re harsh reality that we never wanted to embrace. But here it is, and I'm extremely proud of them for the year that they had. And left again. What would you tell them at, at halftime? I mean, I know you're, you're, you're good for motivating your team and making the adjustments, but they came out clicking after being down by like 13 in the second half. What would you tell them to get them fired up and get them going? Um, they were different um, than, than normal. They, that team is somewhat of an anomaly than what you'll normally see. Um, and what I mean by that is they have a stretch five. Most teams have a stretch four. Um, and they have incredible shooters surrounded the perimeter. So the pain is always going to be open. And we drill, shell drill every single day. For this game, you just had to detox everything that you've learned in your North Carolina Central career and stick to the scouting report. And I don't think we did a good job of doing that. I think they have seven threes in the first 11 minutes. And I said, listen, man, the scouting report is don't help off these kids. And we calmed it down. I thought what really hurt us in the first half, Sean got two, and we didn't finish the half well. They, I think they went on a 6-0 run to close the half, and they went up 40 to 34, and that gave them a little bit of breathing room and cushion. In the second half, we didn't start to have um, the way we're capable of. And I think we got down 10 or 12, and I just told them, don't look at the score anymore. Let's do what we do, and let's just fight. Let's just fight for your teammate, fight for your brother, fight for your last name, have pride in what you do, and just fight, and great things will happen. But it had to come with stops on the defensive end, and once we got some stops on the defensive end, we were able to manufacture some points in transition and get ourselves back in the game. Got time for one more question. <laughs> Lavelle. Oh, you know what? Last one here on the left. The old motion you're showing earlier, I mean, does that ever get easier as a head coach? Or um, how, how do you kind of deal with that in a night like this? Nah, it sucks, man. Um, my grandmother told me something when I was young, and I'll, I'll never forget it. And it's the realest thing I've ever heard in my life. She always told me the same thing that makes you laugh will make you cry. The exact same thing. And last week, we were crying tears of joy, but this week we're crying tears of sorrow. Um, and not because we didn't perform our best, but because it's over. And, you know, I got a locker room full of seniors that I feel for. Then it, it's really like a funeral home in there right now. And as a coach, you think you have all these cliches and you can find the right words to touch them and lift their spirits, but it was nothing I could say in that moment. And that's the harsh reality that you got to deal with. And unfortunately, um, in this tournament, 64 or more of the teams is going to feel our exact way. You know, so it's no fun. Everyone is going to end their season with a loss except for one team. And that's the harsh reality. And no one wants to feel that. But, you know, we, we win with class and we lose with class. And um, we can accept it. And hats off to North Dakota State. That's a, that's a damn good basketball team. Well, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations on your season.